Your name? Claire Richards. Your occupation? Singer and presenter. Your chosen charity? Marie Curie. And your specialist subject? Karen Carpenter. The singer in the hugely successful pop duo formed with her older brother, Richard, in one and a half minutes. Let's go. As well as singing, Karen initially played what instrument in The Carpenters before reluctantly agreeing to prioritise performing at the front as the lead vocalist? The drums. Yes. What was the first name of Karen and Richard's mother, who was at first reluctant to allow Karen to become a singer, as she had her heart set on Richard being the famous musician in the family? Agnes. Yes. What was the name of the record label that released Karen's first single, Looking for Love, and I'll Be Yours, in 1966, when she was just 16 with only 500 copies being pressed? Magic Lamp Records. Yes. The Carpenters' debut single released in the United States in 1969 was a cover version of which song by the Beatles? Ticket to Ride. Yes. When Karen married Tom Burris in 1980, she asked which close friend to be a bridesmaid, only for this singer and actress to decline because of work commitments, adding, I wanted the attention to be on Karen anyway. Olivia Newton-John. Yes. In the opening line of what hit song does Karen sing? When I was young, I'd listen to the radio. Uh, yesterday once more. Yes, who was the main producer of the solo album entitled simply Karen Carpenter, which was not released until 1996, more than 13 years after the singer's death? Phil Ramone. Yes, which 1976 song co-written by Richard did Karen say was her favourite of all the Carpenter's songs, adding, it really hits me right at home. I sing it and I'm almost putting myself into tears. I need to be in love. Yes, which US president invited the Carpenters to perform after a state dinner in the White House, describing them in his introduction as young America at its very best. Richard Nixon. It was Richard Nixon. You got them all right. No passes, nine points. Well done. Well done.